Welcome back. Uh, CFA level one. We were discussing about financial statement analysis in the previous session. In this session, we'll discuss about uh, the ratio analysis, different types of the ratios that are used for different purposes. Ratio analysis. Ratio analysis. After financial statement analysis, let us concentrate on ratio analysis. Uh, ratio analysis is used to evaluate the company's uh, financial position, uh, short term or long term profitability, and uh, the efficiency, the ownership of a company from the given financial statements a ratio ratio is a number expressed in terms of the other say we are expressing one number called numerator in terms of the other called denominator like say for example we have a gross profit amount of say 50000 over net sales of say you know 1 million so gross profit is expressed as a percentage on net sales likewise we are expressing the current assets in terms of the total amount of current liabilities so one number is expressed as a percentage or you know a numeric value in terms of the other the ratio analysis is used for internal comparison so we want to see that what was in the past and what is going to be in the future so we can use it within the company or we can even use this information for external comparison purpose like we want to check our ratios with industry average what it must be how much it should be like my company's gross profit percentage is say 40 percent what is the industry average or an average within the same industry how much it should be it is around 32 percent oh good i'm really doing well because my gross profit percentage is 40 percent as compared to the industry average of 32 percent so we can compare the ratios of one company with the other company we can compare the ratios of one year with the other year within the company internal comparison external comparison then how the ratios are expressed see we use the ratio analysis for different purposes right to see the performance of a company to see the liquidity position of a company to see the solvency position of a company to see the efficiency of a company so for different purposes we use different types of ratios and these ratios are expressed in different ways a ratio can be expressed as a percentage mostly in our margins and returns we express the results as a percentage like gross margin over sales or profit over the total amount invested in the company return on investment return on equity so any profitability or performance related ratios we express in percentage some ratios like current ratio quick ratio etc we may express them in a proportions one is to four one is to three two is to four like that some ratios we express in pure numbers like three four like that three times four times like that can be in times like 30 days 40 days like that so different ratios are expressed in a different ways yep now let's begin with the liquidity analysis so we have different types of analysis like liquidity leverage coverage activity profitability and the ownership ratios called investment ratios let's begin with the liquidity ratios liquidity ratios are calculated to find the short term 
financial position of a company. Short-term financial position of a company helps us to find whether the company is in a position to pay its short-term obligations on time or not. We have some obligations which are to be paid on time, but do we have sufficient amounts available? Do we need to sell some fixed assets? Uh, 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 it's not a good sign. We cannot sell our fixed assets to pay a surplus bill, isn't it? We cannot sell our factory building to pay a supplier bill. For this, we need to have some assets which are near cash items, which can be converted back into cash as the obligations become due. So we have some obligations becoming due. By the time you need to have money readily available. So for this, we will be using current assets and current liabilities. So liquidity analysis is conducted using current assets and current liabilities. In a liquidity analysis, we'll be finding what is working capital of a company, a current ratio, a ratio called asset test ratio or quick ratio, and cash ratio, cash flow ratio. We use these ratios to find the most liquidity position of a company. Let's begin with the, the working capital. Working capital is the amount that is required to be maintained in the business to, to, to operate the business on day-to-day -day basis, you know, day-to-day -day basis. It is the difference between current assets and the current liabilities. So when you check back from our balance sheet, the current assets you can see from year two and year one, you have C, cash and bank balances, M, marketable securities, A, accounts receivable, I, inventory, and P, prepayments. These are the current assets presented in a liquidity format. How fast we get cash? cash and bank balances very fast marketable securities cash equivalents we can sell them off accounts receivable yes but it will take some time on the due dates we get this money inventory it has to be sold and money is to be collected from customers and we see in a cash format prepayments we are just paying the future payments now so they are all prepared in a liquidity format then the current liabilities, the amounts which are to be paid in a maximum period of one year. So we need to have sufficient amount of current assets to pay these current liabilities. That shows that the company's financial position on short term basis is good. So for all this liquidity analysis, and in the calculation of liquidity ratios, we'll be using current assets and the current liabilities. So when we say working capital, it is the difference between current assets and the current liabilities. So why do we calculate the current the working capital? We want to see that whether the company is having sufficient amount of current assets to meet the current obligations. So every company wants to have a good amount of current assets as compared to the current liabilities because the current liabilities disturb us if you do not have enough current assets. Yeah, so make sure that you maintain sufficient amount of current assets to meet the current obligations. You may come across uh, uh, two terms here in working capital, gross working capital and the net working capital. A gross working capital is nothing but the total of current assets, which is a C, M, A, I, and P, which is just simply the total of your current assets. 
see for cash and bank balances and marketable securities, A accounts are stable. I inventory and P for prepayments. So there is no you know, proper meaning uh, as sense we get from gross working capital. So instead, let us use a net working capital or simply working capital, which is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. Yes, this gives us a good meaning that whether we have sufficient amount of current assets to pay our current liabilities on time or not. I have a current asset total of 150,000 against a current liability of say 70,000. Good. So I have sufficient amount of current assets to pay my current obligations of 70,000. Still, I have a net working capital of 80,000. So I can say that the company's short-term financial position seems to be good because we have excess of the current assets, excess of current liabilities. Yeah. Now, from the given balance sheet, you see the current asset position for year two, 620,000, and the current liabilities, 175,000. That's fine, the working capital. Working capital, 620,000 minus 175,000. Hmm. We have working capital of 445,000. By seeing the amounts itself, we can say that the company's short-term financial position is good. Yes, we have 620,000 worth of current assets against 175,000 amount of current liabilities. If you are a supplier to this company, yes, we have customer's financial position and short-term position is good. You are an employee of the company. The company is having good liquidity. You get salary on time. Yeah, you are a banker giving some loans and recollecting that money back in a monthly installments. Yes, short-term financial position is good. Yeah, but you know, there, when you say working capital, even if you have $1 extra in current asset, you have positive working capital. If you have $1 amount extra in current assets, your current working capital is going to be positive. So just having a positive working capital doesn't help you to make decisions. Therefore, we use some ratios called liquidity ratios begin with current ratio tells us that the amount of current assets we maintain in terms of current liabilities for every one dollar of current liability what amount of current asset we are maintaining current assets over current liabilities will give us the current ratio current assets upon current liabilities Yes, from our balance sheet, we have current assets of 620,000 and current liabilities of 175,000. So we have a current asset 620 upon current liability 175, 3.54. Excellent. So what it tells us, for every $1 of current liability, my company is having $3.54 of current assets. Hmm. So current financial position is strong. Usually the standard norm of the ratio is two is to one. Uh, rating agencies and all, they look for a ratio, current ratio of two is to one. For every $1 of current liability, the suggestible uh, amount of current assets is supposed to be $2. Here, 3.54 is to 1. Can we say that the 3.54 is to 1 current ratio is sure that we are going to pay current liabilities? Uh, no. We cannot give guarantee. Why? Because you might have most of current assets in inventories, which will take long time to, to convert it back into cash. 
but your current liabilities are becoming due today, tomorrow, day after. Where is the money? Yeah. Prepayments. You can never expect cash from prepayments to pay your current obligations. Just they are paid in advance for the future. License fee, insurance, franchise fee, etc., etc. So we want some kind of conservative form of liquidity. Conservative form of liquidity. Yeah. So we are now we are going to find the conservative ratio pick ratio pick ratio is also known as asset test ratio pick ratio is also known as acid test ratio so here we are not going to include the inventory and the prepayments in comparing the current assets with the current liabilities so from your current assets we are eliminating i and p inventory and prepayments the current liabilities remain same okay but in the numerator we are removing inventory and prepayments and we call them as what pick assets how fast we get cash from these assets as compared to the current liabilities, we have sufficient amount of quick assets or not. So let us eliminate inventory and prepayments from the current assets. And see that these three assets, CMA, to, to pay these current liabilities. Okay, so the conservative form of liquidity ratio is going to be quick ratio yeah so let us find only quick assets that is 370 upon the current liabilities 175 gives us 2.11 is to one yep so for every one dollar of current liability we have 2.11 dollars of current assets excellent so the standard norm acceptable ratio Quick ratio is one is to one. The rating agencies and all they look for an ideal ratio of one is to one. We have 2.11 is to one. Good liquidity. Now in this quick ratio, we are using CMA upon CL, right? Even the accounts receivable in CMA also may delay sometimes the collections, you know. Yeah, your customer may delay the payment, but your current obligations, yes, they are to be paid on time. So just you find readily available cash to pay your current liabilities. So it is more conservative than the quick ratio, that is cash ratio. So cash ratio is the highest conservative ratio as compared to current and quick ratios we are eliminating even the accounts receivable so the formula is going to be yes c and m divided by cl we removed a accounts receivable i inventory p prepayments so we just used only cash and marketable securities very short term investments upon current liabilities so from our balance sheet from year two let's pick up only two items cash and bank balances and marketable securities compare with your current liabilities yeah so the cash and marketable securities 120,000 upon current liabilities of 175,000 gives us 0 0.68 is to 1. It's a good ratio. The standard norm says 0 0.5 is to 1 is okay. So for every $1 of current liability, you have readily available cash and marketable securities, which are nothing but cash equivalents of 0 0.5. Okay, but now here we have 0 0.68. 
so the company's financial position is still good now we understand that the working capital current ratio quick ratio and the cash ratios help us to find the liquidity position of a company but you know where this cash is from is this cash generated from the core operations of the business we have cash balance but where is the source where this cash is derived from is it from the borrowed funds is it from the sale of investments is it from the sale of fixed assets oh 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 we have to be very clear that the cash what we have in the business should be from the core operations of the business the main activities of the business you are buying and selling the goods you are a manufacturer you are buying raw material producing the goods and selling them yeah you made money that cash you are comparing with the current liabilities yes that makes sense this cash is purely generated from the core operations of the business and it is enough to pay our current liabilities and we still have some money extra good that extra money can be used to purchase any fixed assets if the company is an expansion plan or the company is having some loans yes we can repay those loans or we can invest somewhere that makes sense so first thing what we need to know is that the cash generated from the core operations of the business is more than the current liabilities or not yes the cash generated from the core operations the main operations of the business the main activities of the business must be more than the current liabilities 100000 current liabilities 30000 yeah we have 70000 more we want to buy some assets we want to repay the loans or we want to invest in the other companies yes we have money that makes sense but if the cash generated from the operations is 30000 and current liabilities are 100000 oops we do not have enough money generated from the operations 30000 come on we have an obligation of 100000 where do you match this amount we are we are in the shortage of 70000 yes this amount is to be arranged from a borrowed money okay or we'll have to sell some fixed assets long term investments not a good sign right so we find a uh, uh, the 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 performance of a business how best we you know used cash which is generated from the operations of the business to pay our current obligations current liabilities using a cash flow ratio so through the year how much cash you generated from the operation simply by selling the goods by providing services in case of service industry that amount is sufficient to pay current liabilities yes more than this yes we have still money is left good so a ratio of cash flow ratio of greater than 1 is always good what happens if it is less than one it means that the cash generated from the operations is not enough to pay the current liabilities so we need to depend on what the sale of fixed assets or further borrowing of money so a cash flow ratio tells us that the amount how much we generated from the operations whether that amount is sufficient to pay current obligations or not let us assume that the cash flows we uh, generated from the operations of the business is 70000 720000 assume that it is 720000 and from our balance sheet we have a current liability of 175000 we have made enough money from our operations we have 720000 cash generated from operations 
we have a current liability of just 175,000. We have four times more than what we need. We have four times more than what we need. We have surplus cash. Yes, four times surplus, yeah. This amount can be invested in fixed assets or can be used for repayment of loans. So any company's short-term financial position can be analyzed using the working capital, that is net working capital, a current ratio, quick ratio, also known as asset test ratio, cash ratio, and precisely the amount which is generated from the core operations of the business to see that whether this amount is enough or not to pay current liabilities, we use a ratio called cash flow ratio. This is the end of the session on liquidity analysis. We'll see you in the next session with a, a different analysis. Till then, have a good time.